This is going to be uh, my temporary greenhouse base. Now I say temporary, uh, I expect to be using it for the next two or three years until we've had time to build a brick one. Uh, the greenhouse is uh, around about 14 foot by 8 foot, so a fair size greenhouse. Now I have used this method uh, several times in the past. Uh, the biggest thing I've put up using this method was a uh, 40 foot by 18 foot uh, tin workshop sectional building. Uh, last night I uh, put this piece in. I'm using second hand timber, it's all good stuff. The posts are large and the uh, timbers are tunnelised so they, they should last a while. Uh, I've used angle iron in the past, uh, would probably be a better job, but this will be just fine for me. So, it's level and it's straight and uh, I concreted them in with uh, maybe a bucket full of concrete each. Um, don't really need concrete, uh, pea gravel would probably be better because uh, it holds posts really firmly and uh, concrete is an irreversible chemical process so we're releasing carbon or something into the atmosphere. Anyway, didn't have any pea gravel so I've used concrete. Now I'm squaring the next piece which I've just got propped level. So I'm using the old 345. From that corner I've put a mark at six feet and from that corner I've put a mark at eight feet so the measurement should be ten feet across the diagonal. Now I've put a little uh, saw slit in that timber just to catch the edge of the tape measure. We come across here And as you can see, it should be at 120, which means that this piece of wood needs to uh, move to the right slightly. And I haven't got three hands, so I'm going to have to turn the camera off. And there we are. It's now nearly bang on. Uh, bang on enough for preliminary purposes. So I will put my first post here and uh, screw it to the uh, timber. Now you want your post holes to be fairly flat bottomed and I'll show you why in a minute. Well the reason is that once you've got everything levelled up you find you need to move your posts slightly to square the building or whatever it will still be level if your posts are flat bottomed and your hole is flat bottomed. It just makes life a little bit easier for you. So, before I uh, concrete these posts in, uh, we're going to do one final check for squareness. Now I know the thing's level all the way around, and 201 and a half, it measured across the other diagonal, and without touching it at all, 201 and a half again. So I'm really pleased with myself, I did a good job of that. So now I can put the concrete in the posts. Now there's one thing that's more important than level for a greenhouse especially because those uh, little square panes of glass do need to go in little square holes. If you don't have a good quality big long spirit level or your spirit level skills aren't quite up to scratch it's flatness that matters. So what you can do is get down to the eye level and see that both sides and both ends are in line with each other and then you know you've got a good flat base to start that shed or greenhouse from. So I've managed to survive another night. Uh, last night I concreted these uh, posts in at this side so now the thing is all held firm and rigid and square. So this end is going to have the door and that is the bottom of the greenhouse frame. So I'm going to uh, concrete two posts in here for the uh, door frame and then uh, cut this piece out. Far easier to do this job uh, this way 
and then uh, cut the door out because everything holds itself uh, square and to the right measurements. Uh, the door posts I think I'll concrete in a little bit deeper than the others because uh, that's the place where it will flex and just for good measure I'm going to stick an extra post in at the back. Uh, flange headed uh, construction screws really are the pig's tits for this kind of a job and um, just pull everything together nicely and the heads don't sink in. Now if you make the base two boards high you can always replace the bottom one if it goes rotten and uh, the upper weight bearing one remains unaffected. And this is the way that I've uh, fixed the uh, greenhouse to the uh, base. I uh, cut out some aluminium uh, patches and uh, bolted them to the angle and screwed them to the base. Uh, through bolts would have been better but I haven't got any at the moment. Uh, the aluminium <laughs> was actually part of a road sign that blew through the hedge and lay in the field for a couple of years so I salvaged it. I do like to use what I've got. And here is the greenhouse sitting on its uh, new base. Uh, we had quite a storm the other night. This is a windy place at the best of times, but uh, we had quite a violent storm and the greenhouse is still standing. Not a pane of glass moved. So I must have done something right. <laughs>